Good morning. My name is Chile Mutevuye. My name is Wasila Sal. We are students from grade 10 from Willow International School in Maputo, Mozambique, and we're going to present a project about mangrove. As we know, nature consists of many cycles, and such cycles are important to keep life in the world. Destroying one of these cycles could cause serious damages in our ecological system and drive to extinction of species. Mangroves is a very important ecological niche, which plays a crucial role in the generation and conservation of many species. Unfortunately, due to socio-economical objectives, mangrove forests are suddenly being destroyed for tourism, harboring, fuel, construction, and much more. And such destruction of mangroves is bringing visible consequences to the environment. You might be asking yourselves, what are mangroves? Mangroves are transitional coastal ecosystems, which means they are formed in the tidal coastal swamps of the tropical and subtropical areas, as we can see here. In majority, mangrove forests develop in regions with high rainfall and large amplitude of size, and so they can only grow on tropical and subtropical sheltered coastlines because they cannot withstand freezing temperatures. Nowadays, people are not concerned and some of them don't even have an idea of how important mangroves are in our lives. And so that's the aim of our project, to describe the mangrove characteristics, to describe the importance of mangroves, to analyze how they're being destroyed, to demonstrate the consequences of mangrove destruction, and to propose solutions for sustainable conservation of mangroves. So let's talk about the location of mangroves. My friend here is going to tell us about this topic. Yes. So these mangroves are settled in areas of unconsolidated loamy sediments with little to glide as we can check here. And generally they're associated with bays, lagoons, estuaries and deltas. So now getting more in the characteristics, there's something we should first keep in mind. What we must know about the mangroves is that despite they being rich in organic matter and nutrients, they are hypersaline and hypoxic. Hypersaline, which means they are excessive in salt, and hypoxic, which means that they lack in oxygen. So, mangrove forests can be recognized by their dense crop of roots, which allows them to handle the daily rise and fall of the tides. And as I have mentioned before, the mangroves are located in the tropical and subtropical areas, divided into four zones where we can characterize them. My friend here is going to start explaining the first So one. here we have the zone 1 and zone 2. So the zone 1 or external zone suffers frequent flooding of tides and the sediment is turned muddy. So in this range is predominantly the red mangrove. The zone 2 or inner zone is dominated by black, the species of black mangrove and white mangrove and the sediment is sand. Then we have the third zone which is the zone of Apicum, and it's only reached by tides with great amplitude. Here the sediment is sandy and they are hypersaline. And finally we have the fourth zone, which is the transition zone. It is a boundary between the mangrove ecosystem and the terrestrial ecosystem, being that they have mixed characteristics between both. And an important factor we must know about this zone is that their salinity here tends to zero. So, as we're talking about the characteristics, let's get to know more about mangroves. Here we're going to talk about some species of mangroves, such as Avicenna marina, Nipa, Avicenna alba, Rhizophora stilosa, Avicenna rumphiana, Cereba, Brugiera cylindrica, and Sonorasha lanceolata. So, as my friend said before, the mangroves play a crucial role and are very important in our daily life. Unlike plants, the fauna of mangroves is unspecific being composed of mammals, crustaceans, molluscs, and birds. And indeed, they have a high primary productivity, abundance, and biomass, but they do not present a great diversity due to the stress and force of the tides. Thus, the mangroves' importance, they are one of the world's most threatened tropical ecosystems, having more than 35% of the mangroves worldwide already gone. They are losing their habitats as rivers are dead, such as that their waters and their intertidal zones, naturally prepared for agriculture and aquaculture, are being destroyed and dried up for construction. 
Unfortunately, the threads do not end there because we have the, some threads of mangroves to mangroves like clearing, over harvesting, climate change, rivers, over dams, uh, coral reef destruction, and much more. To sum up, the message that we would like to transmit here so that we always have in mind is that the loss of mangroves could prove a catastrophe in ways only becoming apparent now. The continuing degradation and depletion of this vital resource will not only reduce the amount of terrestrial and aquatic production and wildlife habitats, but it will mainly uh, affect the environmental stability of coastal forests. So as students, we recommend the countries that have squandered their mangrove forests also to, re to replant them, in this way gaining both a tradable asset and protection of their coastlines. Thank you for listening and we hope our project has helped you to get to know how and to have an idea of how important the mangroves are in our lives and how we could help to preserve them.